What's going on guys, Bow here back with some MGG PvE, so let's get into this. Still just using these guys that I need to level, so... We'll see how far we can get today. Hopefully uh, we can actually get close to the Silver Star, I'm not too sure though. We'll see how many of these we can get done. We are at 70, so uh, we'll just use this attack. And uh, we get a shitty tag, and he survives with barely any health. That kind of sucked. But uh, we're going to take him down there. This guy's going to take me down. But we should still be fine, even though they took down one of ours. Alright, there we go. 71. We'll probably get a little bit above 70, I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure we can get through 10 of these levels pretty easy. We're at 71. Get that uh, silver star and then we don't have that far to go to actually get the gold star. So we're almost done. Probably uh two to three more videos and that's going to be about the full event. Not too long at all. Just got to figure out who I'm going to use because we're getting pretty high up there. But uh, for sure Anubis is going to be one. Um, not too sure on the other two but uh, we'll just keep switching it around. Level up these guys a little bit. We're going to use another 87 campaign passes there. Guys, level 18. We got uh, the Enforcer right there at 25 as well. The Bunny, Valkyrie. We have so many mutants to choose from right now. But uh, I know for sure Anubis is going to get up there because I actually wanted to try him out a while back, but uh, I just never leveled him. And uh, now I got him. Once I get him to 32, I'm going to be using him in PvP when I uh, fight with uh, random mutants and stuff like that. Gonna have to start um, doing the PvP event soon. And uh, try to get that gold in there as well. Alright, 73. Yeah, I'm not too sure I'm gonna try to get to gold uh, this next when I get this gold star. I know there's still few mutants that I want to get, but um, I'm starting to run out of mutants to go for. I got almost all the ones I needed bronze, well, because I always have a bunch of those stars. Uh, most of the ones I need for silver, I probably there's still a few more in there that I need to get, and then... Um, I believe I gotta start working on the correct parents for like some of these, like the dolls, stuff like that. Those ones I need to get the silver parents and then hopefully get lucky with the gold star, which I doubt it's gonna take me one try, but probably like two or three to actually get uh, some of those. So I'm probably gonna start working on that as well. But they've been adding a bunch of these newer mutants, but they're not. They're not cheap, so I haven't bought any of them. Like the bear, I think was like a thousand or two thousand. They have some in the shop for like two thousand, which are already gold stars and stuff. But uh, I think that's a little bit too, too much there. I wish they would actually bring it down a little bit. Well, not for the gold stars, but uh, I just mean for like the regular one. I wish it some for like five. 500 is not too bad, but a thousand is pretty bad, especially when you gotta buy the stars or get the stars to actually level it up to gold. So if you're just gonna buy the stars, then I would just recommend waiting for the gold version of it in the shop and then buying it that way, because it's probably gonna cost less. Because you don't know how many times you're gonna have to use a silver star or gold star to actually get it. You might get lucky and get them on the first try, but um, it doesn't always work out that way. Alright, let's see. 
I'm not doing too bad still. Keeping up with these guys in level though. But if it was like the last event, that would have sucked. Just for the fact that it would have been a lot harder to actually level these guys. Because you can see every once in a while like uh, one or two of them will die so... If they were actually like the last event I wouldn't even have made it this far using these guys. I would have had to switch out to uh, my other mutants. Alright, 76. Come on, we gotta make it to that silver star. Alright, we're gonna be using him. I've been using him a lot. Um, I think I'm gonna take these three because I've been using them quite a bit and they're pretty high level. I might throw in another one here and there once we get up there, but uh, yeah, I think these are the three I want to actually take to, to level 100. I'm not too sure if I'm going to use them all the way to level 100, but uh, probably take them all the way to 90. Because we'll see how hard um, 98, 99, and 100 are actually see what uh, mutants we get and their stars and stuff like that. Damn, we're using more campaign passes. I actually don't know how many times I've done that, but uh, I know it's been more than 10, so I'm guessing we're over a thousand by now. And we're not even way up there yet, so... Alright, let's take down... I'm not too sure. We'll take down this guy. Oh, yep, okay. Hopefully we can still... No, we're gonna have to use a tag here. Yeah. Like, they're starting to not die in one hit, so... Gotta watch what we do, because we're getting close to 80. Once we get that uh, silver star, should be a little bit easier, and then once we start going back up again, it's gonna get a lot harder. We'll see how hard uh, 80 through 90 is, and then um, hopefully these guys level pretty fast. Because every 10 you get more EXP, plus I have the triples, so should be getting quite a bit. Like, these guys are leveling every, like, one or two fights, so we should be okay going all the way to 90 plus. Oh, nice crit there. Take this guy out. Yeah, these guys aren't that hard, like 31, 13, 21, not too bad. If you have like a gold star level, I don't know, like 20 something, you should be fine. Like that's what I'm using right now and I got all the way this high, so. The lower level evos, they should be able to get pretty high up there. I don't know. Most likely get up to the silver star. Anything past that uh, starts getting a lot harder, especially getting closer to that gold star. Alright, let's see. Or if you don't have the right mutants for like the right gens once you get way up there, that always sucks. Because I remember back uh, when the, I was trying to do some of the PvE events I didn't have the right mutants and I would always lose because they would uh, get brutals and stuff like that and my attacks wouldn't do nothing and I only had like two gold stars or something like that. Alright let's take those three. Same three again. Yeah I think I'll stick with these three. Maybe change it up every once in a while. Not too sure but uh, we'll try to get these guys to 32. So one of these guys is probably going to be my tag. Not too sure which one, and then uh, I'm gonna probably be leveling a few more after that. So it's probably gonna change right after to something else. Probably get the bunny to 32, Grim Reaper, stuff like that. So I'm not too sure which one's gonna actually be my tag, but um, probably in the next few days you'll find out which one will stick. And if it's not too great, I'll probably change it anyway, so don't worry about it. And if it was, my bad, but it's probably going to change. <laughs> so 
since uh, I'm gonna be getting a few more gold stars. Alright, we're gonna go with him. Gotta find him now because they're getting higher up there in the, the ranks. Wow, he's almost at the top as well. Alright, this will be our last one. We're over the 10 minutes, but that's fine. Doing some decent damage. I should have picked a faster moon actually instead of three mid tier. Because they're all. They're a little bit fast, but not really fast. So I should have picked uh, one of the fast mutants and then two of these guys. That would have been a lot better. But it does look like we are coming to the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.